Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Today I leave Rila Mountains to go to another part of Rila Mountains. So I guess another day, another city. I'm on the move again. I pack my backpack, ready to go. I don't think I've ever been this excited for a series before because this is my first ever mountain trekking series. I'm going to be climbing through the beautiful Rila Mountains in Bulgaria. I'm currently already in this mountain range, staying in the biggest monastery in Bulgaria, run entirely by monks. Make sure you check out my previous video, it was such a unique and surreal experience for me. You're coming with me on a four day trek. Now I have never stayed in the mountains, trekking from hut to hut for more than one night. So this is going to be a brand new challenge and experience for me, especially seeing as I'm completely alone. Now I've already taken you to two wonders of Bulgaria so far, Prohodna Cave and Stob Pyramids. Make sure you check out both the videos. And in this three episode Rila Mountain Trek series, you're going to be seeing another one of the wonders of Bulgaria, the Seven Rila Lakes. I'll be spending two nights in the highest mountain hut in entire Bulgaria, where I slept with 11 people in one room and was pretty much adopted by the hut owners and staff. I had my first experience riding on a chairlift. And not only that, but also bareback horse riding. Can't say I enjoyed it though. I trekked for four days alone, but along my journey met some incredible people who looked after me, which made my first ever experience of trekking multiple days through the mountains that extra bit special. Including this cat, who despite being cute, I had a little bit of a fallout with as he wouldn't let me sleep all night. Now the itinerary of day one is as follows. I'll be leaving Rila Monastery and hitching a ride with the Italians, whom you saw me befriend in my previous video. We'll be driving two hours to the Seven Rila Lake chairlift. I'll leave my belongings in the nearby Pioneska hut and then my trek up to Skakovica waterfall begins. This waterfall sits at 2,000 meters above sea level, making it the highest waterfall in Rila Mountains. I'll stay the night in Skakovica hut, almost 1,900 meters above sea level, built in 1921, making it the first ever mountain hut in entire Bulgaria. Then day two of my four-day trek from Skakovica hut to seven Rila lakes and then Ivan Vazov hut will be shown in episode two. So buckle up, you're in for a ride. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and go on, you may as well drop me some feedback too. I'm really, really fortunate that the two Italian girls that I met yesterday, they are heading to the same area of Rila Mountains today, so I'm going to be jumping in the car with them. Thank God! If I did not have them, it would have taken me around over three hours to get from Rila Monastery, where I am right now, over to the part of Rila Mountains that I'm going to start trekking because I would have had to hop from bus to bus, village to village to get them. Today is my two month traveling anniversary. Wow, I cannot believe I'm two months old as a backpacker, as a traveler, hopping from city to city, town to town, island to island, country to country. It's been an incredible experience. And today a new chapter begins because to celebrate my two month anniversary of traveling, I am going to spend around three or four days up in the mountains, hiking from hut to hut to hut. I am so excited because I've never done this before in my life. A very different experience and plus I am doing it on my own. Right, I am all packed and ready. Need to get this backpack in the car, let's go. Vicky, our last moments in the monastery. Yeah. Bye monastery. Look at where Vicky has brought us for breakfast. Great stop, Vicky. Marie, Vicky, I've got something to tell you guys. I think it's quite cool. Today is my two month anniversary. Oh, yes. I'm 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 woke up, thank you. I woke up today, I was like, happy anniversary to me. <laughs> But 
this is it, girls. This is goodbye. Yes. Oh, oh, no. oh. when do you think I'll see you again? I think I'll in see Italy. you in Amsterdam. Yes. yes. I'll see you in Amsterdam, Marie. I I'm hoping to be in Amsterdam yeah, next exactly. few months. And I've got to come to Italy at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you so much for everything. You girls have been amazing. Right, we're going to take the last selfie. I have a huge backpack on as well. <laughs> oh, nice. Perfect. You're going to send me all the... I sent you guys all your photos. Yeah, You're going to send me yeah. all of my... The exactly. There's a lot of logistics that goes into mountain climbing. So I've now had to find a hut where I can unpack my stuff out of my main bag, empty it into this bin bag that a nice lady gave me, then I'm gonna take limited stuff to the mountain for four days. So much logistics and planning goes into it. So a really nice mother and daughter let me leave my stuff in their hut, which is at the bottom of the mountain. Now, I have to walk one hour to get to the starting of the trail where I begin. With no internet, so I've got to hope I find my way there. Look at the irony of this situation, right? I have to do a hike to get to the starting of my hike so that I can begin my hike. Whew. A hike so that I can start my hike. One hour later. Yes, I'm at the beginning of the trail. So the hike to Skakovitsa hut, which is by Skakovitsa waterfall begins. Finally begins. I think this hike is gonna be about an hour and 15 minutes. It shouldn't be too long, but apparently it's very steep. So get ready to sweat, Asra. Okay, now the challenge begins. So now we're gonna take a right turning into this and work our way up this route. Oh gosh, here goes. I hope this is the right trail. I really, really, really do. Right, so we are following the red trail. Let's hope I stick to the route. I'm in Sherwood again. Robin Hood, where are you? You're going uphill on rocks. It really does take it out of you. I have to say this is a very very cool forest i have been in a lot of forests in my life but this forest is like a fairy tale forest like the forest that you would see in snow white or in robin hood literally feels like i know i usually say i feel like i'm in a movie but this time i feel like i'm in a fairy tale it is a fairy tale forest and i feel like hansel and gretel right now oh my god look at this that is where we are going to sweat. Right, and the sweating begins. You can't see it on camera, but it just keeps going up. Even around the corner, it just keeps going up. It's just uphill, uphill. But who said hiking's easy, right? And if it was easy, where's the fun in that? There you go, look at that scary looking tree trunk. God blimey. Come on, then. Water. Okay, so we've come a long way up. You can't see it, but that spiky looking log was down there, right down there. So we've come all the way up, and now we still have a shitload more to do. Okay, it's not so much of a fairy tale anymore, but we'll get through it, folks. Let's see if I fit under or if I'm going to take my backpack off. Crouch! Ah! I'm stuck a little bit. Oh my god, we made it through. Oh, we made it through under that log with my backpack. Oh my gosh, guys, what is that that I see? What is that? Is this the hut? Have we arrived? Oh my gosh. Maybe we've arrived. Oh, I'm so happy we made it here to Skakovitsa hut, which is about half an hour away from Skak Skakovitsa waterfall, can't even say it. I just checked into my room, this is where I'm staying tonight. It cost me 15 Bulgarian lev for the one night. But it's not as long as people make it out. The issue is it is steep. Oh my God. The definition of steep was that hike actually no both there was a was a killer you will drip you will huff and puff you will feel the burn but hey let's go check out the rest of this hut and go see skakovitsa waterfall
You should know by now from when I stayed in the hut in Startup Juanina Mountains that the toilets are, drum roll, squatting toilets, baby. So for my bedroom, I go up these stairs along that corridor down there and down here, this is the communal area. Breakfast, lunch and dinner is served here. And let's go outside. This is cute. This whole area is very, very cute, very beautiful. It's not as beautiful as a hut when I stayed in Startup Juanina Mountains when I went to hike Peak Bowter, but it is still cute in its own way. Look at this guy. Looks like he did the hike, not me. Couple of tips for traveling around Bulgaria. Always, always carry a passport with you. So even when I checked into this hut, which is up in the mountains in Bulgaria, I still needed to show my passport. And second point is, uh, learn how to read Bulgarian because most of the signs are all in Bulgarian. That right there says Skakovitsa. Can you imagine if I didn't know how to read it, I would have been completely freaking lost. You don't have to be a pro, I'm no pro. Just learn a few basic letters, and then you can start to figure out words and it'll help you out. Trust me, you'll go a long way in Bulgaria. Right, this is where we are going now, Skakovitsa waterfall. Look how beautiful this looks. The rocks, with the trees, with the mountains. Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful purple flowers. I don't know what they are, but they're stunning. I'm walking through purpleness right now. So pretty. Let's wade through this purpleness. It's a very rocky route. I absolutely love this. It's just me, the purpleness. Oh my God, and a freaking frog. <gasps> oh, I missed it. Okay, let me carry on with what I was saying. Just me, myself, the purpleness, the mountains, and the mountain air is beautiful. Wow, look at this section. They're as tall as me. Boom, we can start to see it look right there. You can hear it too. Hey folks, we made it to Skagovica Waterfall. Let's go higher so we can get a better view of this waterfall. Oh my God, guys, look how beautiful this tree is, the shape of it. That's so cool. Nothing like the powerful sound of a waterfall. And these are just baby waterfalls. I can't I can't even begin to imagine what the sound would be of the really, really big, big waterfalls. Because I'm mesmerized just by this right now. Here's another tip for Bulgaria. Learn Bulgarian. Very few people here speak English, especially when you come to villages and especially when you come up to the mountains. So these huts, are run by owners that do not speak a word of English, most of them. The hut I'm in right now, the man does not speak a word of English. Thank God I have some broken Bulgarian, which is why I'm able to communicate. And I just had a really, really funny conversation right now with him. I've come up from the waterfall, I just wanna have a shower and get to bed, which is why I asked him for a towel. I asked him for a towel and he looked at me like I asked him for his kidney and said, there's no towels. I said, how much for a towel? He said, there's no towels. I was like, fuck, you're kidding me. So I gotta either have a shower with no towel or have no shower at all. So after a lot of consideration, I've come to the conclusion that it's actually a blessing in disguise that I cannot have a shower and I will not be able to shower for the next four days. I can't wash my hair, my body, none of that. And there's an individual that I follow who climbed both K2 and Kilimanjaro. And I remember reading an article by him and he said to wash, they'd use wipes for the body and to keep your hair clean, you put talcum powder. So that is what I'm gonna do for the next four days. All of this just because I don't have a towel. 